Hello, my friends. Wes Gow here with Cardinal Coaching Solutions. I've had uh, or I've experienced a bit of an uptick in uh, my practice with some uh, some curiosity around, hey, what is coaching anyway? I know there's resources on your website, um, and I, I, you know, I've, I've checked out the podcast and, and videos and things, um, but still got some questions about you know, what is it exactly, and and how do I know if it's right for me? And so I went ahead and just recorded um, an explanation that I was I found myself offering numerous times and and in different uh, contexts, and so uh, I thought I would just go ahead and capture it. Uh, so that not only I could use, but maybe it would be beneficial to you as well. So that's what you're going to hear, and I hope that it's helpful for you. Hi there, Wes Gow with Cardinal Coaching Solutions. Here's the way that I frame coaching. I use um, one example that provides some context, and then another example that supports that. So let's start with the first. I'm going I'm to put coaching in the context of uh, a few other uh, forms of human service that I often hear it uh, mentioned in the same sentence as. And all of these are helpful. And by the way, what I'm going to share is a very high altitude, subjective take on what all of these are. It's not in any way meant to be exhaustive. And I've personally benefited from all of them. So they're all helpful. This is only meant to help you get some clarity as to whether or not coaching is really what you're after and what you want. So um, let's start with consulting. With consulting, the operative word that I use is directive. There's, there's an element of consulting that is more directive. So if you or your company hires in a consulting firm, they're going to send out a representative that's been trained in their methodologies probably going to run you through um, a battery of assessments. They're going to collect a bunch of information, and then they're going to share with you all of this data and give you some direction on here's what you need to do, what you need to implement X, Y, and Z that's going to change your culture, improve your bottom line, expand your diversity and inclusion, whatever that might be. So there's an element of consulting that is directive. Um, There's a knowledge gap an experience gap, whatever it may be, that you need uh, the consultant to bridge that gap for you. I've benefited from that, okay? So the operative word there is directive. With counseling and therapy, the operative word, there's an element of diagnosis. So there's a lot of listening, and then at some point, uh, the the counselor, the therapist in the room uh, is going to offer you some element of a diagnosis. Here's what's going on. Here's what I'm hearing. Here's what's wrong. Here's what's happening. In fact, there's a there's an entire there's an entire textbook uh, of uh, various diagnoses. There's an acronym for it. I, ca- I can't remember what it is. Again, I've benefited from that. You might even get if it's a certain kind of therapist, like a psychotherapist, you might get a prescription. This is something that you need to help move you forward, get you on track. Um, There's a lot of exploration in the past in counseling and therapy. Again, the operative word there is diagnosis. I've personally benefited from that. That might be what you need. With coaching, the operative word is discovery. So my role, the services that I offer, what I uh, do as a coach is not to, uh, I'm not going to offer you direction. Uh, I'm not going to uh, be diagnostic. Uh, my role is to help you discover what it is you want to do, how you're getting in your own way, what actions are going to help move you forward. So that's my role. Now that's, again, high altitude, not meant to be exhaustive in any way, shape, or form. Okay, so quick review. Consulting, the operative word is directional or directive. Counseling therapy, operative word is diagnosis. And with coaching, The operative word is discovery, okay? So now let's put that in the context of an example. Let's say we have, uh, let's say we have two entrepreneurs, all right? And they've both opened brick and mortar businesses, all right? And they make whatever it is you want. Cupcakes, craft beer, who knows what, okay? And lo and behold, it works. Or it worked. The business venture worked so much so that they can't keep up with the demand. They've got friends, relatives, employees asking them, 
when are you going to open a shop on my side of town near my neighborhood? Because the reality is they're leaving money on the table. So that's our setting here. Now, entrepreneur number one, hard charger, go-getter, they want to go after it. Strike while the iron is hot. They're clear on what they want. They are going to expand their business. They're going to scale. They're going to open a second location, but they've never done that before. Their question probably begins with how? How do I do that? How do I open a second location in such a way that doesn't jeopardize my initial first location? In that situation, that individual would be far better served from someone like a mentor or maybe even a consultant, someone who has done that, someone who has the knowledge and experience that this entrepreneur doesn't, who can impart that to this entrepreneur uh, so that they can avoid the pitfalls. So again, in that situation, the question begins with how. How do I do this? Here's the second entrepreneur. Again, same thing, brick and mortar business. It worked. They can't keep up with demand. They're leaving money on the table. And yet this entrepreneur, gosh, they can't put their finger on it but they are not sure what to do. They're just not sure. There's some, they can't get right side up on any kind of clarity around this. Maybe they even feel a little guilty for not wanting to expand. Maybe they're not even willing to admit that to themselves yet. I don't really want to do this. Their question doesn't really begin with how. How do I expand? Their question begins something with more like, what? What do I do? Or maybe it's framed with, I don't know what to do here. Or maybe there's even a why in there. I don't know why I'm confused, why I'm feeling this way. In that situation, that individual probably doesn't need another voice offering, telling them what they think they should do. They've got a lot of that. What they are probably looking for, again, just in my example here, what they might be best served by is a coach, someone who is going to listen, offer them their full presence, and help that entrepreneur draw out of themselves what is holding them back. What's the root cause that's inhibiting the decision-making process? So again, all of that is just meant to give you some clarity on what is coaching, what is it not. All that I've mentioned, all of those, consulting, counseling, therapy, mentoring, coaching, they're all in service of human flourishing. They're all beneficial and they all have their time and their place and their context. Now, if after what you've heard here, that's given you some more clarity on, you know what? That is what I want. I do want some coaching. I'm pretty sure that is what I want. And I'd like to talk about it with you, Wes. Here's what you do. Here's how I handle this. There's a link uh, here in this video to my calendar. Go to that. Find a date and time that works for you. If you don't see one that works for your particular situation, shoot me an email, Wes, W-E-S, at Cardinal Coaching Solutions, and we'll find a time. But what I want you to do is experience coaching with me. So we're going to have a coaching session and I'm going to, I'm going to give you a full blown coaching session as long as it needs to go, because I want you to have that experience. I'm going to treat you. I'm going to coach you just like I would um, a regular paying client. And then from there, it's pretty much on you to determine absolutely that's what I want. Or you know what? That's probably not what I need right now. Great. No problem. All right. I want you to get the kind of help and support and assistance that you need. Hiring a coach uh, is a very personal thing. It's it's very much dependent on the right fit for you. So for me, the best next step would be let's have a coaching session. If after this you're clear on this is what you want, let's have a coaching session, give you that full experience. And if after that you absolutely want my support in a coaching engagement, then we'll talk the details, which you can actually get a glimpse of that on my website. I offer group and individual coaching, but you can see kind of the standard packages that I offer and you can get an idea for that. All right, and I'll include a link to that in this video as well. But anyway, I hope all of this is meant to be helpful and I hope to hear from you soon.